Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to another quick flutter tutorial. The widget of the day is the tab bar, which you would have seen in a lot of your apps. For example, Instagram and TikTok. If you look at the profile page, they use a very similar style to this. So let me show you how to create this by jumping into the code. Now, just to keep everyone on the same page, I've got here a main function that's running my app. And this is pointing to the home page, which is a stateless widget. And inside I've got a blank scaffold. In the last few videos, I showed you how you can use a very simple app bar like this. Now for us to be able to use the tab bar, we have to wrap the entire scaffold with a widget called the default tab controller. So inside there, you can specify a length, which is how many tabs you want. So let's just say three. And then inside the body of the scaffold, let's create a basic column. And in the children, let's create the tab bar. So we specified the length to be three. So let's make three tabs here. The first one, I'm just gonna give an icon of home and let's just give it a color as well. And I'm gonna copy this and create a total of three tabs. And if I save this, you can see there it is, the tab bar. And so you can click this around. Now, one thing to mention is the coloring. Of course, you can specify the individual colors that you want, but something that might be useful here is to specify a theme which controls the color for the entire app. So if you specify this primary swatch, let's say deep purple, then the default color for the entire app is going to be a theme of deep purple. So that's a handy way to specify the colors. So underneath all this, we have to create another widget called a tab bar view. And this is basically what each tab is going to be showing. So real quick, let's just create some basic text widgets and just say first tab. Now we specified three tabs in total. So I'm gonna create and copy three of these ones. The first tab, the second tab, and the third tab. If I save this right away, we're going to get this error. Now we had a similar error when we were working with list views and grid views. So the same thing is gonna to happen to this tab bar view, which the problem is we didn't specify a height for it. So one way to go around this is wrap it in an expanded widget. So just fill up the entire space. So if I save this, you can now click around and navigate to the different tabs. So just to make this more apparent, let's just add some colors onto each tab. So on a very basic level, this is how you use a tab bar. But just before I send you off, I'm going to mention some good coding practices that you guys should adopt. And what I mean by that is I just want to clean up the code a little bit and have a good structure to our code so that it's usable in a more long term project. So in the library, I'm going to create a new folder called tabs. And inside this folder, let's create the three tabs. So first tab, second tab, third tab. Looks like the first tab didn't go into the folder, so let's just drag this in. And so if we go to the first tab dot dot file, make sure we have to import our material dot dot. And let's just create a stateless widget called first tab. So let's copy what we made earlier and just paste it into this folder. And then copy this and paste it into the second tab as well as the third tab. So now we can come back to our home page and instead of all of this code, we can delete this now and just import first tab. And let's do the same thing for the second tab and third tab. So this way our code looks much more cleaner and simple to use. And if there's any changes you need to make to each of the tabs, you can just go to the individual separate files to make those changes. Now we've structured our code in a nice and clean way so that we can build our project from this point. Hopefully that was clear and easy to understand. If you have any questions, just let me know below and I'll come around and answer them. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Laters!